IZ Corp Radio, 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 IZ Corp Radio. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. This is Mr. Ebo Richards from IZ Corp Exchange News, and I'm sitting here. We're doing a little, a little interview here with with a good friend of mine, Eric Garcia. We're up in Miami Shores doing a doing a little after party here. And uh, Eric Garcia works for Lowe's. Hey, how you doing, Eric? Hey, great, great. So uh, we just want to just get right into it. Um, you, you you said you're the human resource uh, manager for Lowe's? Yes. That's the construction company, correct? Yes. How long you been working there? Man, I've been there for about almost two years now. Wow, wow. Yeah. You like working there? I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, so are more people fixing things themselves, or are, are, are most of your customers like contractors and stuff? So, like? I'll tell you first uh, the numbers of uh, when I run reports of sales. Right, uh, the reports on sales say that we have a contractor wise, we have more sales. But in in regards to how customers come in and how they come in to buy things, there are more customers actually fixing stuff themselves uh, because of the count. Of how many people come in into the store and, and receipts wise and how much is being bought uh, but in regards to when you run a report and it shows that contractors are also coming in but they're spending a lot more money bulk wise because they're contractors so what they want to do is they want to save money by buying more right because they have that contractor list with us uh, that account so they want to save the money that way so they can keep in stock in in their warehouse or in in their company but in regards to customers doing things themselves customers are doing definitely doing things themselves mm-hmm. as of this year i see yeah. i see so um let me ask you another question uh, mr garcia what do you think about competition in the warehouse business or, or actually in relation to um to Home Depot, to Home Depot. which is very popular and does very well. Yeah, they they are. We follow what they do uh, most of the time, even though Lowe says, "Hey, we don't." I think we usually wait three to four to five years to follow their lead uh, because they are the leaders in in the business. Um, but last time that I went to visit corporate office, they we were talking more about, you know, people say, "Hey, who's your biggest competition? Who's your biggest competitor?" And people think, oh yeah, Home Depot, but in reality, with the numbers and when you run reports, our biggest competitor right now is Amazon. Why? Because uh-huh. Amazon, Interesting. Amazon, their customer does not have to go into a store. Their customer just goes online, they're at home, and they purchase things. So a lot of the new business ideas that Lowe's and Home Depot is doing, because uh, I've seen the trends, is follow now Amazon lead, uh, Amazon uh, as the leader of, of uh, purchasing things online. Mm, interesting, Amazon. Yes. I wouldn't have never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, me too. Let me ask you one more question so we can get back into this party. Um, do you think moving forward, tech is, tech is taking jobs away from the uh, construction home improvement industry? A- absolutely. You know, you have, like I said, Amazon. You can just, you don't have to come to the store. You don't have to go to uh, a store um, as as the years go by as their the new generation comes in they don't really want to go into a store they want to shop online make sure that they they kind of can go on YouTube they can go on people that they know and say hey look do you think this would work do you think this works instead of going to a contractor they can ask those questions online um, and I do it myself all the mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. Uh, if I need to change something in my car if yeah. I need to do something where it's um, do it, do it yourself, DYI. I always go to YouTube first to see if I can learn oh, it. If I can learn it, if I can do it, right. then I, there's no need for contractors. There's no need to go on, to the store and ask those questions. I right. can just do it from my home and I can order online. So even being from from that sales market where me myself, I, I love the whole face to face and having that person teach you and show you. Uh, as the years go by, people are, are losing that, that aspect of that face-to-face. It's more online. So as, as the business as the business grows and as the industry develops, it's definitely going into the whole online industry and, and into just doing things through technology instead of hands-on. Change in full effect. Change, change is happening, and it's happening fast, and people wow. need to realize it. And, 
And even in our stores, I'll give you a little bit about what, what happened recently in, in Lowe's. Uh, and, and as to me being the human resource manager on how I push my employees. So in California recently, the, uh, just this year, there's a robot now in California that's being tested that does the work of a human being. So the robot comes up, let's say if you go into a Lowe's store, it'll come up to you and say, hi, how can I help Are you? Are you serious? And so you press a button and you say, hey, I'm looking for whatever item that you're looking for. The robot will then escort you, you know, with, without giving you attitude, without with, with giving you good customer service, right. which sometimes as people, as human beings, you know, other things happen in our lives that can give you bad customer service, can right. give you a bad experience. And so robot technology is changing that. So in my store, I've explained that to my employees. So as, as, as this robot in California takes you to that specific area, it's also while it's walking with you, doing inventory, taking count of what is on the shelf, what is needed to be on the shelf, wow. which is something that us human beings right now do. So I explained to my employees, look, if, if the new generation, this technology is coming aboard, we as human beings need to do something more. We can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Right. And so that's how I pit, pitch it to my employees. And that's why here in, 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 in South Florida, my employees, believe it or not, we're number one in the company and employee engagement. And it's one of the things because I, as a human resource manager, just go outside of the box and explain mm. to people, hey, look, technology's here. It's going to change the way that we do business. It's going to change our lives because we in the future are going to lose those jobs to, to uh, technology. Mm. I mean, it's happened before. It's happening. It's happened already in, in the car industry, in right, the automobile right, industry, right, right. Where, when, where we had in Detroit factories of, of people working and now it's just technology doing the, the jobs that we do. artificial so, intelligence is in. Exactly. So... You know, it's it's changing, it's evolving, and and to see something like that, me as a, as a person, I need to, I, I I see that I have the opportunity to convey that to people, instead of just doing the normal human resource manager work, where it's waiting for someone to come in into my office and say, hey, look, I have a problem. Me, I always go out and share things and and develop people to to do more, even if it's not in the store. I want people to develop to become better people better employees and that way they can find uh, a better opportunity even if it's not with Lowe's they can go ahead and find that that other niche somewhere else so think outside of the box is, is what I tell my employees all the time and they strive to do that and that's why I'm number one in the company uh, this this year so far Wait, well congratulations yeah. Mr. Eric yes. Garcia thank Again. you for the interview and it, it's very exciting to, to be part of your show and to be part of, of this broadcast uh, I, I, I'm humbled for you to, to choose me and for us to have this conversation. Very interesting. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you again, Eric. Okay. Um, good, uh, good evening, everyone. That was Mr. Eric Garcia, Home uh, Resource Manager from um, Lowe's. And you were watch, listening to IZ Corp Exchange Radio. IZ Corp Exchange Radio is a member of IZ Corp Exchange in Good Standings. My name is Mr. Ebo Richards. Um, thank you and have a good night. IZ, oh, IZ Corp, keep listening. There you go. There you go.